Okay, so we've got what we're doing is we're taking a tin box and we're going to make a Faraday cage out of the box. Really, really simple is what it is. <coughs> we need some wire. I'm using bare wire. You can use wire that's insulated. This will allow you to put stuff like Ormus in your refrigerator or your drinking water or something and the refrigerator frequencies of the computer that's in your fridge won't mess up your water or won't mess up your Ormus like that. So I'm just going to put on the connector here. Put the connector on and I'm going to attach that puppy. There's a screw. This happens to be a self. <laughs> Jeez. So this is a self threading screw. <laughs> uh, and <laughs> you'd think I've been smoking some funny weed or something. I haven't been doing that. Mm, so, there it is. Just a sheet metal screw should do just fine. It doesn't really have to be self threaded. And then, this wire goes to to a ground, a really good ground. The best ground is if you've got copper or steel water pipes. You just attach it to it and instantly the frequencies that are in here, the frequencies that are outside don't get in because it sees the ground instead. And that's a Faraday cage. <laughs>